Point number 13 of why business is booming is I build a great team. What do I build, everyone? A great team. team. Notice it doesn't say find a great team or hire a great team. It says what? Team. Build. You have to build your employees. You have to build your team. You have to work with them, coach them, mentor them, train them, get them into outside training courses and build a great team. If you invest in them, see, as a simple rule I have, how you treat your employees is how they treat your customers. It's, it's, it's always been the case. If you build them, they build your business because this is the absolute fundamental truth. No business owner ever built their own business. The people they employed built it for them. You don't deal with all your customers, your people do. You build your people, they build a great business. That's the inside of your company. Now, um, let me take you back. I was 21 years of age. I went to my dad. I said, you know what, dad? I have a problem. And he said, what's that, son? I said, I just can't get good people. Can't find good employees. How many ever had that one? Who's ever said that? My dad, blunt human being, turns to me and says, Brad, you get the people you deserve. You're an average leader running an average business. The highest caliber of employee you're going to get is? <laughs> Gee, thanks, Dad. <laughs> See, it's like people often ask me, because when I go into interviews, they say, oh, so you're a motivational speaker, and I hate that term because I, 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 I'm an educator. Because how many of you ever notice this? If you motivate an idiot, they just do stupid shit faster. <laughs> Anyone proven that in your business? Like, you know, we motivated that guy. He ran off the cliff much faster. So I believe in education and, and when I come down to it and I sit down and I say if I've got to build a great team, I've got to educate them. And you can see from my dad where I got the lack of motivation skills from. So I said to him, well, what do you mean? What have I got to do? And he said, well, Brad, when you become a great leader, you'll have a great team. When you build your leadership skills, see, where do great people want to work? Do they want to work in an average company? No. Great people want to work for a great company that's doing great things run by a great leader. If your goal of your business is just to pay the bills, why would great people want to be there? If your goal is to build the best florist in the entire southern part of the country, if your goal is to, you know, then great people want to work with you. When you become a great leader, you'll attract a great team.